Good morning, folks. The old fisherman's back with you again. We're sitting on the waters of Lake Murray this morning. We just got through putting out a little brush, pal. I tried it. Uh, just a couple little pieces. It wasn't much. But we're going to give it a shot in a couple of days, and hopefully we'll catch some off of it. But I want to take you on my fishing trip yesterday, Lake Monticello. We went over to Lake Monticello, and it was uh, really hot yesterday. Uh, found a few perch at times, and, and we caught some a couple, two times. And uh, it had a couple nice bass on. But, uh, hey, and then we caught a couple crappies. But that's all you can catch. They'd quit biting. But we caught a mess of fish. I'm going to take you on a fishing trip. Hope you enjoy the show. And I want to give a special thanks. Shout out to Randy Lewis from Monroe, North Carolina. He sent me all kind of stuff through the mail. Sent me nine flutter jacks, three uh, boy ducket, and he sent me a gift certificate. And he bought four shirts uh, this week. Uh, thanks to Randy Lewis, great fan. Hey, appreciate it, Randy. Thank you so much for being a fan of Old Fisherman. And Randy's in the real estate business, so if you need uh, up and around Monroe, North Carolina, if you need to buy something in real estate, hey, look up Randy Lewis, and uh, he'll help you out. But, uh, hey, I'm going to take you fishing on that trip, and I hope you enjoy the show. And, uh, and that was on Sunday morning. Hey, thanks for watching the Old Fisherman videos and subscribe and tell your friends about the Old Fisherman and go to my store and check it out, stevecumlander.com. Hey, we'll get back with you when the fish start biting. Thank you, and we'll see you. Good morning, folks. Hey, we're on Lake Monticello again. I just dropped down. I got a few perch on. Two nice ones on at one time. Lake Monticello. Look at that what a jumbo magnet. That, my friend, is a jumbo magnet perch. The size of that perch. That's a big one, ain't it? Hey, hey, got him on, on the uh, Big Daddy J beaver tail. All right, drop it to the bottom and see if we can get another one. See if we can get another one out here. I think we own something. I think we own something. Huh? Let's drop it down, see if we can get another bite. Thanks for being with the old fish on another episode of Loving Life. We got a boat about 50 yards over there. I'm trying to hold it down a little bit. Thanks for being with me. Hey, I believe we got a few fish down there. I don't know if I can keep them going or not. We're gonna try. There he is. There he is. See if we get another in the body. I don't think we got but one though. But we got one. We got one knife. Oh yeah. We got one. Ow. He got me too. White perch. It's been a while since I've been over here. Over a week. I've been fishing Lake Murray, catching them crappers and a few stripers. But we're back in Lake Monticello. And hopefully we can catch us a mess. Got a little breeze coming through here. Uh, but hey, not too bad. Let's drop it down and get a nut. Oh, didn't get a bite that time. There he goes. There he goes. He come up and got it. He come up and got it. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, no. oh broke off bass. That was a bass, he broke off. Dad, blame him, monkey's in. He broke off. Doggone, I had to throw it back there with two jigs. He broke off, that was a bass. Had my drag a little tight, doggone it. Had my drag a little tight. Mm -mm -mm. Ain't that awful? He took that surge and broke that uh, six pound tail. I got six on this one. Actually, I need to be a bigger, bigger line. Back down. We had a bite then, I missed it. There he is. There he is. That's a good one too. We need to loosen up our drag a little bit. That's a good one. There's some good ones out here. Real good ones. Look down the going. Uh oh, that's a bass. That's a bass. That's a bass. Squealing offline. That's a bass. And run up here and got that thing. Got to be. Got to be a bass. Here he comes, coming up. 
coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. Oh Lord, coming up. Coming up. I think it's done broke the other one off. I ain't got one juice on there now. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I think the other one broke off. No, we got a fish on two of them. We got a fish on two of them. We got one of them in. And a perch on the other. Look at him. Look at that. Perch and a bass. How about that, folks? Perch and a bass. Look at that. Huh? Hey, day. Look at him. Let me show you what we just caught. Perch and a bass. Nice perch, too. Huh? Look at that. Same time. Perch and a bass. Look at that bass. That's a pretty one, ain't it? That's a pretty one right there. We'll throw him back. Throw that bass back. Hey, how about that? Broke one of my jigs off. That was a bass I had on a few minutes ago. It broke my jig off. Hey, let's drop that down. We might get another one. We might get another one. Drop it down. Loving life is what we doing. Oh, late. Might as well. Thirty-six foot of water. Get a nut. Missed that time. I hadn't had the boat on spot lock, so it's been spinning around circles. I might be done got off the fish. I might be done got off the fish. That's what I'm thinking. Fun catching them bass. Joker's pool. So it's fun catching anything. If you like fishing. Alright, get it to the bottom and reel it up. See if we can get one. Uh oh, we're gonna run them off. We're gonna run them off, show the world. Tap the boat a little bit. Bite. There he is again. We got him that time. Hey, we got him that time. We got him that time. Pretty nice perch. Pretty nice perch. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Alright, we got a mess. Got a mess. We got a mess. All right, let's get it back out. I hate when you got the two jigs, but that'll work. Drop it back out. Where the big boys lie. Wind blowing me around. I got some down there, no question about that. There he is. We got them under us, no doubt. And they bite, too. They bite. <laughs> nice perch. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Double back out. I don't see them in a second. I kind of got shallow. We're going to get a little bit. We ain't blowing me back. Got to get some speed on this trolling motor. They out there in a little deep hole. I only got 28 foot. I need to be out there in the 30, 30 something foot range. Pull back out. Pull back out. There ought to be a crappie right here, but there ain't no guarantee to bite. Cause these suckers in this lake, hard to get the bite. See ya. He nailed it. Finally got one to bite it. He nailed it. He nailed it. He nailed it. Uh -huh, nice one too. 
a nice one. A nice one. Look at that. Look at that one slab. He hit that dog on white. Bobby Garland, yeah. What'd he hit? He hit slab, too. A good one. I like to catch about 20 like that. That's a good one. All right. We got a, the old uh, puddle jumper jig. I dyed something light green. Might have messed up, and I got a, a monkey milk Bobby Garland, and that fish just hit the monkey milk Bobby Garland. Let's see if we drop down and get another. He thumped it though. Might not want that green. I used to catch them on green all the time in this lake. They kind of quit, got away from green. What they done? So we get another. I got the buoy really too close to where I want to fish. Right by the buoy is where the fish are. I usually throw it upwind, but the current pulled my buoy back in the wind. And I got it right on top of where I'm fishing. I don't like that. I don't like that strain going up through my fishing hole. But it is what it is at this point. So we can get a nut. Why not catch a nut? I don't know. We got one. Nice one, too. Well, that wind's charging. Going in more storms for this afternoon. The weather's unsettled. I think that's probably got something to do with these fish. Not wanting to bite. That, that was a bite. I missed him. He bumped it. He bumped it. Barely pecked at it. Right on top of it. Ought to get one right there. Might have pulled my jig down. Got a current too. You see that dag on boo has pulling. That's usually when they get in here when they get a good current. Let's check it. Check our jig. Yep, he hit the green one and pulled it down. What it was. He hit the green one and pulled it down. Up back out. I see a few down there. I seen a bunch of them at the other place I was at, but they wouldn't take it. They caught I had one hook that got off and that was it. They get real skittish real quick and you start catching a couple of them, one or two of them in this lake. They wasn't there skittish in Lake Murray this week as they are in this lake. I want to tell you, boy, he nailed it. I stopped it, he nailed it. I stopped it, he nailed it. That's a good fish there. That's a good fish there. That's a good fish there. Come on in here, boy. Come on in here, that old fisherman. That's a good one. That's a good one. Look at that water slab crappy. Look at that water slab crappy. Now I got him on the green puddle jumper. What I got him on. Come here, boy. Come out of that net. Come out of that net. The green puddle jumper. Oh, I got him. Pound and three quarter crap. About somewhere long enough. He's a good one. Put some of that crappy slime on that jig. Look at him. Look at that crap. Hey, that's a fine one right there. Pound and three quarters at least. Hey, folks. We uh, dropped out here in the middle of the lake and just caught three at a time. I don't know if I get another bite or not, but I just, they're, they're, they're bumping it. There you go. They're hitting it. Way up here. I just caught three at a time. In the middle of the day, we ain't done much. Caught a couple crappies, caught a few perch or bass. We're fixing to go home, and I dropped out here in the middle of the day, and I think I found some. Some jumbo magnums out here in the middle. So, hey, that's what it takes. Sometimes you just can't give up. You got to keep on going. Uh, and finally, you might get lucky. Do what you know that you've done in the past and keep moving around till you finally get on some fish. And then, then you got to get them activated. Jokers don't have one to bite. But once you get them going, you got to keep them going. 
It's hot, blistering hot. Ain't nobody else out here. Everybody else ain't going home. And it's hot. But I'm stubborn, and I want to try to catch some, so I stayed here. And I, I tapped the boat a little bit, and I think that brought him. I tapped him with my foot. I ain't even using a the stick. There he is. I believe we got something going now. Let's hold it up there and stir him up. See if we get a couple more. About flies bite me on that leg. See if we can get a couple out of here anyhow. Hey, who knows? We got three at a time, but they ain't that big. But hey, it's fish. It's fish. We got a slider jig, a big daddy jig, and two slider jigs and one big daddy jig is what we got, different colors. Blue and white, blue and green. All right, drop it back down, see if we can keep them going. Hey, who knows? Might stumble on another bold bass out here. But I tell you, I, I was beating the boat with my tap of my foot on it, kind of lightly, and I sent them stir up. So I knew they was there. I got a fly biting me. Biting flies over here on this lake. They hit, oh, he hit it. They hit it again. They hit, they're running up after it. They keep running up after it. Way up. Hey, we got some on us. I'd like to say, I don't know how big they are. There might be some big ones come in. I see a bunch of them down there now. Hey, boy, they're hitting it. Now they're hitting and quitting and missing. Oh, them pull my jigs down. What it is. Come on off of that, buddy. I'm pulling my jigs down. All right, drop it back out. We got fish hunters, plenty of them, all over the bottom. And they're stirring up, so that's a good sign. They might hit when they stir up. All right, hey, they're hitting it. They ain't taking it. Hey, you got him that time. Got him that time. He run way on up here and got it. Ain't that big, don't believe. I oh, ain't too bad. He ain't too bad. Nothing wrong with that one. Not too bad. I'm pull my other jig down. Uh, they ain't hitting that big daddy uh, spade tail jig that good. They're pulling it down, they ain't taking it. That's what it is. All right, put it back down. I catch a mess of fish yet. I was gonna leave here and go to that crappy brush before I went home that up there at the king pod, but that hot water. I don't know if I can stand it up there now. It's probably 95 degrees up there. Hey, yeah. Hey, we got something going on now. We got something going on now. We just keep them biting. There goes the nothing. A lot of times them big ones are hit it up here at the top. They're really slow. There he goes, all the way to the top. Jokers are following The rest of them follow them up just like them stripers do. Lake Murray. And uh, if you do that, if you get them doing, oh, one, one got off. We had three. Top one got off. But if you can get them following it up, you can catch them, uh, the bigger ones at the top. They will follow the rest of them up. Now, let me tell you, and they'll follow the rest of them out, too, when you snag one and he gets off or you throw one back. They, they follow each other. They sure do. Kind of like a pack of dogs. Drop it back down, tap the boat. Thirty-four foot. He hit it, hit it again. Still hitting it, there he goes. They following it way up now, they starting to bite now. They starting to skylight these plugs and they biting, there goes a bigger one right there, just hit it up here high. A bigger one, I think. He didn't get off, I, I believe he might have got off. Okay, can give it one. Hey, he's eatable. Drop it to the bottom. Old fisherman is going to usually stick with it till he finds something. 
it's been a tough morning. I don't mind telling you. I got in one little brief thing of, of, of fish over there earlier, and y'all, I'll have it on the video. And then I had a bass to break off. And then I, the first thing this morning, I probably won't have one. I caught a, I hooked a big old crappie. I mean, a big old crappie on the brush. And I had him almost to the top, and that sucker just got off. That was a jumbo magnum crappie. I'm saying three over three pound crappie. He was a whopper. But uh, hey, never did get to see him. I just going by the way he fell. And uh, uh oh, starting to hit it and not take it now. That ain't a good sign. They still down there. I see them. I start bumping on that boat. They start coming. No doubt. There he is. There he is. See if we get a nothing to take it. There goes a nothing. There goes a nothing. I don't think we got but two though. Who knows? Who knows? That's what we got. Two nice ones though. Let me tell you, two nice ones. Nothing wrong with them. Jumbos. Jumbos. Woo, it's hot out here. It must be 90 degrees. I don't mind telling you. That's why I got this big old sombrero hat on. Drop it to the bottom where the big boys lie. The old fisherman. Loving life. Hey, I thought for a while I wasn't going to love this fishing trip. I can tell you that. But I'm getting a little bit better now. We're going to get a mess of fish yet. Alright, let's drop it down. See what we can do. Uh oh, update. He hit it. Hey, day he hit it. I guarantee he pulled my jig down. Hit it too hard. Nope. Drop back out. Drop back out. I don't see him like I did. I think they're getting uninterested now. They ain't stirring up like they was. I'm going to tell you, they'll get out of the daggone notion in a minute. It's unbelievable. They figure out they ain't getting nothing to eat. They'll get out the notion. There's one. There's a nice one. There's a nice one. There's a nice one. You got but one, though, so far. One pretty nice one, I think. Oh, yeah, he's a good one. He's a good three-quarter pound perch. Or better. Got him on the spade tail, blue and chartreuse. Hey, put it to the bottom with a big boy's lie. <sighs> Hope you get back on them crappers in Lake Murray. Uh, I need to, I, I, I don't know how, I've been thinking hard about how I can put brush in this boat. I don't want to scratch up my boat. I don't know what I'm going to do. My old boat ain't got no daggone motor on it. I need a 25 or 35 or something on it. That's what I need. Where I can put brush out and stuff with it. What I need. I just got to do it. Got to find one. That does look nice. Miss Deborah got back problems. She got to go have an MRI done. She, she don't know. I don't know what we're going to be facing with that. We might have to quit our video if Miss Deborah gets out of commission. She can't put them up for me. I don't know. She got back problems, I can tell you that. Big time. She won't be going no more fishing. Now she gets that back straight now. That last fishing trip I took her 4th of July. Hey, that was about the end of it. It didn't help that back none. Hey, yeah, boy, he hit it way up, young. You know, because sometimes they don't hit it till it's way up. And usually them the biggest ones. I done found out how them big ones are way up, suspended. Kind of like them stripers. Look at him. Look at that. That's a jumbo right there, buddy. That, my friend, is a jumbo super dog supreme right there. That's a good perch. That is a good perch. I'm going to have to walk it back. See that? Hey, that's a good one.